Are we ready again? Davis has scored these putts since the, the scoring was there. Yeah, so I, I did competitive robotics starting when I was 11, and I took it very, very seriously to, to give you a sense. I won the Robotics World Championships for the first time when I was 13. I've been to World seven times between the ages of 13 and 20-ish. Uh, I eventually founded a team, did a lot of work at a very high competitive level. He's looking pretty good. This was a prototype of sorts from which he has built his multi-million dollar company. I hadn't built a robot in a while, wanted to get back to it, and felt that this was by far the most exciting piece of robotics technology that was up and coming. A lot of people told us we wouldn't be able to build it, uh, but knew roughly the techniques that you would use. And I was pretty confident that if you put them together, you would get something that worked. Took the summer off, built in my parents' garage a golf cart that could drive itself. That golf cart got the attention of Silicon Valley and the first of several rounds of venture capital. He formed a team and then decided the business opportunity was in self-driving trucks. He says there's also a human benefit. If we can build a truck that's 10 times safer than a human driver, uh, then not much else actually matters. When we talk to regulators especially, uh, everyone agrees that the only way that we're going to get to zero highway deaths, which is everyone's objective, is to use self-driving. And so uh, I'm sure you've heard the statistic, more than 90% of all crashes uh, have a human driver as the cause. So if you want to solve traffic fatalities, which in my opinion are the single biggest tragedy that happens year after year in the United States, this is the only solution. So what they say is, but only possible because of the recent breakthroughs. They're in the going to be learning. making a lot of robotics, Artificial trucks, and all kinds of stuff. That and guess has what? Made it possible a lot of that stuff is going to put people out of work, ten years out ago. of jobs. Particularly in the ability to see and understand scenes. A lot of people don't know this, but it's remarkably hard for computers until very, very recently to do even the most basic visual tasks, like seeing a picture of a person and knowing that it's a person. And we've made gigantic strides with artificial intelligence in being able to see and understanding tasks, and that's obviously fundamental to being able to understand the world around you with the sensors that, that you have available.